Welcome back to the world of Harry Potter. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the second movie in the franchise, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We'll explore the story of the movie, analyze its themes and characters, and discuss some of the popular theories surrounding it. So grab your wand and let's get started. The Chamber of Secrets picks up where the first movie left off. Harry Potter is back at the Dursleys' house for the summer, but strange things start happening to him. He receives a warning from a house elf named Dobby, telling him not to return to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. But Harry is determined to go back and reunite with his friends, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. When they arrive at Hogwarts, they discover that the school is being terrorized by a mysterious creature that is petrifying students. Harry, Ron, and Hermione begin to investigate the attacks and eventually discover that the creature is a basilisk, a giant serpent that can kill with its gaze. They also uncover the existence of the Chamber of Secrets, a hidden chamber within Hogwarts that houses a monster that was once unleashed by the school's founder, Salazar Slytherin, to purge the school of impure wizards and witches. Harry learns that he is the only one who can stop the monster and save Hogwarts, but he must first find and destroy the diary of Tom Riddle, a former student who became the dark wizard Lord Voldemort. The Chamber of Secrets is a darker and more mature movie than its predecessor, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. It deals with themes of prejudice, bigotry, and the dangers of blindly following tradition. The movie explores the concept of pure blood supremacy, a belief held by some wizards that only those with pure magical ancestry are worthy of respect and power. This belief is embodied by the character of Lucius Malfoy, who tries to use his influence to control Hogwarts and purge it of non-pure-blooded students. The movie also delves deeper into the backstory of Lord Voldemort, revealing his past as Tom Riddle and his connection to the Chamber of Secrets. The movie's climax is a thrilling battle between Harry and the Basilisk, and it also sets the stage for the larger conflict between Harry and Voldemort that will dominate the rest of the series. The Chamber of Secrets has spawned a number of popular theories among Harry Potter fans. One theory is that Dumbledore, the headmaster of Hogwarts, knew about the Chamber of Secrets all along and allowed it to remain open in order to teach Harry a lesson. Another theory is that the Sorting Hat, which assigns students to their respective Hogwarts houses, is actually a Horcrux, a powerful object containing a piece of Voldemort's soul. There is also a theory that Ginny Weasley, Ron's younger sister, was under the influence of the diary of Tom Riddle and was being controlled by Voldemort himself. And that's our analysis of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the second movie in the franchise. If you have any other theories or insights about the movie, please let us know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Harry Potter content. Until next time, remember, it is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. Welcome back to the world of Harry Potter.